totally rocking the Duracell hair today. I've been wearing a hat and it's like this, uh, like a Cupid doll. It's like a point, <laughs> but whatever. We're filming a video anyway. As I awkwardly stare at the camera for a prolonged period. <laughs> so we're probably going to make this into a, let's see, we're recording a, uh, a series of videos all based on a plan set I'm coming up with that's for sale now on an underground, super cheap escape camp dwelling. So a ways back, you might've seen a video that was a speed sketch, actually a real-time sketch, where I was working on something called the Snapper, for lack of a better title as of now. There is a link on relaxshacks.com where there's gonna be some plan sets for this. It's on pre-order right now. But I've long wanted to develop, and we were gonna do this, or maybe potentially will, at my Joshua Tree hands-on workshop, Aside from like 50 other things coming up in May, uh, something I was going to work on, and it talks about that in the other video, but it's an underground, potentially bunker-like fort, shelter, super affordable camp. You'll see more on the soon, but I'm going to point out that it's very short, because if you make it too tall, it's going to be really hard to hide this and bury it in a berm. So these boards right here, actually from here, as I do the hang loose thing to there, it's only 32 inches. Add in top bottom plates, you know, you're about 36 inches. It's kind of a crawl sleeping hut, basically kind of a wooden tent, but with better thermal properties. And this is uh, doubled up. You know, it's a giant header running across here. There's gonna be jack studs there cradling things, um, some triangulation. It's a trapezoid in shape. You could build it upside down, like a reverse, almost like a W trapezoid. There's some advantages to that you could leave the ends blunt but this provides some bracing and if i was to bury this in the middle of a field let's say i could more blend things in earth berm wise by having this angled trapezoidal run right here that was the idea behind that to strengthen it and to kind of blend it into the hillside if it were in the middle of a field as it would be i talk about this in the original video in the desert so that's why we're going with that shape Reusing some windows here. I find these all the time. These are just sashes, double pane. And I'm gonna kind of trim them out, give them a, trim them out, excuse me, give them a frame. And for now, there's gonna be a huge window here. I keep changing the idea. I really want to use some tough techs, the double wall stuff they have. And I might call for that in the plant set because I love that stuff. But there's gonna be a huge window here on the outside here, a kind of structural wall. You've got to fill this in with something where you can hang your pots and pans. And uh some kind of additional stacks coming through the ceiling for air exchange. Maybe the entrance is through that window that acts as a door or it's going to be up above. That remains to be seen. And like I said, I'm doing various versions and sketches of what will become final plans for this that are available or will be soon through the link at relaxshacks.com. Try to keep it affordable too. Already thinking as this is going to be the back wall here as opposed to that one on the front, I need more of a continuous array of studs, two by fours here because I'm going to have a lot of earth pushing against this area here, wanting to crush and buckle that wall. So I can't skimp on that. It all will come into drainage too, how I want to slope, you know, put some crushed stone maybe behind this, um, some kind of membrane to get the water to flow around it if possible. But we're working on the back wall here right now and I can put a ton of studs in there, probably 60 on center. We'll see. So fast forward through the magic of cinema and here's what I'm talking about right here. See that behind me? Put a ton of studs in there. There's five all in all. It's under 16 inches on center, actually, which I'm thinking should work uh, pretty well. I might, I'm gonna try it out, put some dead men in, which you use in retaining walls, which help a wall from caving and falling. That might be part of the plans or it's something you can add if you wanted to. But uh, we're gonna mess around and see how some of this stuff works. I wanna build this before I send the plans out. This isn't just gonna be one of those like, oh, I dreamed it up on uh, Google SketchUp and I can send these plans out recklessly. I wanna build the, the thing much like the A-frame first before I pass it on to you guys. So that's what I'm doing right here. The idea is to panelize these two 
so that they're lightweight. I mean, I'm one arm as it falls and hits me in the head. You know, they're pretty lightweight. Granted, I'm a total jacked beast, but <laughs> I couldn't even say that without laughing. But I want these to be light so when you build them off-site, when you drive them on-site, you can assemble this easily, all right? Gotta get huge, do my curls. Let's get all juiced up. Oh yeah, the base, gotta be pressure-treated lumber, two by four is to keep it light, to keep it cheap. Probably the floor might be PT as well, we'll see. I think I'm gonna have to have it sit on top a bed of crushed stone. But that remains to be seen. Follow me on these videos, subscribe, and we'll tell you much more about it as I figure things out. And I will underline the fact that it's supposed to be affordable. That's kind of the running theme with most of the stuff I develop. If you've seen the transforming A-frame we have, which is sold and been spread worldwide very rapidly, for lack of a more eloquent way of, eloquent way of saying it, um, this is kind of on par with that in terms of the idea, but much smaller. Uh, it could be a fort. It could be something you put up in a tree. It could be earth berm built into a hill. Um, taking advantage of the natural, you know, cooling and heating properties of thermal mass or for hiding out, you know, or if you want to build a camp somewhere we don't really want people to see it, if, if whatever, you're on the lamb, I don't know. Uh, but you also could, you know, just use it for an above ground shelter, something that's simple. You could put wheels on one end of it and it's light enough where you could wheel it into the woods after pre-building it in your yard, loading it to a truck and it's uh, very transportable, portable. So a lot of things we're aiming for in terms of efficiency uh, efficiency of lumber, of usage of materials. So many plant sets out there are rather expensive. These are going to just be 12 bucks. I want it to be fun, affordable, something you can kind of blow 12 bucks on. And if you don't get to it later on, time wise, material wise, energy wise, you're not going to be beating yourself up over it. You know, and with, in other cases, I spent $200 in plans and never got around to building them. 12 bucks. It's the price of like two good beers at a bar, at least around the Boston area. More beers elsewhere. So I'm keeping it affordable. If you hit the link, um, I'll put the description uh, link to the, in the description below. You can check that out as well. And we'll have many updates on this project for you as things progress. School's out amongst other things. And I'm just keeping busy with lots and lots of projects. So I figure I might as well chronicle some of this on my YouTube channel. So stay with me. Subscribe if you want to see more on this. Leave a comment down below because maybe you can uh, influence the build as we go along. Make kind of a, a group thing. Why not? I'm open to suggestions. I appreciate your input, and I will see you guys in the next video.